Whether you're a multinational medical device conglomerate working on the eighth generation of your device, or a small device manufacturer struggling to market your first product, creating and maintaining a clinical evaluation report can be a complex and resource-intensive task. In this video, we'll explore the different aspects of a CER, including what it is, why it is needed, an overview of the research process, and finally, its contents and formatting. Before obtaining CE marking in the EU, medical device manufacturers must prove to the competent authority that their device meets safety and performance standards. The Medical Device Directive requires the manufacturer to perform a clinical evaluation of their device. The clinical evaluation is exactly what it sounds like, an evaluation of research done on the safety and efficacy of the device. That research might have been done by your company or published by others, and depending on the risk category of your device, it can be fairly simple or quite extensive. The CER is a major portion of the technical file and is required for all medical devices regardless of classification. It provides evidence that your device has been put through a rigorous evaluation or, in many cases, compared to research done for other substantially equivalent devices already on the market. If you have never completed a clinical evaluation report, it'll be helpful to get a better understanding of a few terms. First is clinical evaluation. This is the assessment and analysis of a medical device's clinical data to verify the safety and performance of the device. Next is clinical investigation. This is any systematic study in or on one or more human subjects performed to assess the safety and or performance of a medical device. Clinical data is the safety and performance knowledge generated from the use of a medical device. With this in mind, a CER consists of analyzed clinical data that was collected either from a clinical investigation of the device in question or the results of other studies on substantially equivalent devices. So, if your device is innovative or higher risk, chances are it will require a clinical investigation and the data for the subsequent report. For devices that are more common or present lower risk, most of the time, manufacturers opt to use literature from existing clinical investigations. A clinical evaluation takes place in three stages. In stage one, manufacturers identify clinical data. This can come from existing literature, clinical experience, clinical trials, or any combination of the three. Once the data is identified, stage two involves appraising the data in terms of relevance, applicability, quality, and significance. The third stage requires you to articulate your conclusions based on the data you collected. Your evaluation may lead to the conclusion that a clinical investigation is required. There are several research sources for existing clinical data, including Medline, Cochrane Collaboration, and PubMed, to name a few. The CER follows the format listed in Appendix A of the MedDev. You include the CER as part of the technical file that you submit to your notified body. Many manufacturers make a big mistake in assuming that the CER is done once, then placed on a shelf. The fact is it needs to be continually updated as part of your post-market surveillance or vigilance activities. Any notable changes that impact the initial data collected should be recorded, and the CER must be appended accordingly. Clinical evaluation reports seem simple, but they can be quite tricky. This is why the task of creating them is one best left to experienced professionals. Looking for more information on CERs? Be sure to stick around a few seconds longer so you can download your copy of our Clinical Evaluation Review White Paper. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you found it informative and helpful. For more information on how Emergo can help your company compile clinical evaluation reports, check out our website at www.emergogroup.com/cer.